Praetor et Fideliter, Fiercely and Faithfully, the historical motto, the Pontifical Swiss Guard. The Holy See has a special cooperation agreement with the Pan-Oceanian Military Complex. Swiss Guards are elite soldiers who defend the safety of the Holy Mother Church and the Papal Seat in San Pietro of Neoterra but who also perform special operations at the behest of the Pan-Oceanian military. The Swiss Guard has maintained the old tradition of recruiting its members only from among the inhabitants of the old Swiss cantons. Recruits are subjected to demanding training, after which they must serve a year in auxiliary duty. Afterwards, if they wish to continue their career in the guard and access the tactical branch, they must request leave and be transferred to the other regular units of the military complex. They cannot be reinstated into the Swiss Guard until they have served in crisis areas and earned several honorable mentions for their record sheet. Which is why, once reinstated, all guards have the rank of sub-officer. The Swiss Guard now forms the assimilated special action group of the Pan-Oceanian Heavy Infantry, and at their disposal is the most advanced of all human-conceived military technology. Adding to their security functions, the Swiss Guard also executes direct action, assault, capture of key strategic positions, and interdiction operations. In combat, their orders usually take them to the most dangerous positions in the most violent missions. Such is the responsibility their history and tradition entail. The Swiss Guard is one of the most powerful models available to Pan-Oceania, and its presence, or lack thereof, should weigh heavily on your opponent. BS-15, Mimetism minus 6, Surprise Attack, and Camouflage let you abuse almost any model in the game by stacking huge mods against them. On top of this, his ARM-5 and BTS-6 give him good protection against a variety of threats. Being heavy infantry, his two wounds give him a bit more insurance should his opponent be lucky. The three profiles available fulfill very different roles that must be used very differently to get the most out of them. The HMG is one of the premium attack pieces in all of Infinity. While it isn't the hardest hitting HMG, or the most order efficient attacker, it takes the cake as the highest ballistic skill HMG with Mimetism minus 6 and Camouflage in the game. Enemies without MSV and Sixth Sense should be very careful about being exposed to this monster. The ability to hit like a tag and fall prone as an S2 model is very valuable to help keep him alive from retaliation. Keep him far away from enemy template weapons that ignore his mimetism mods. The hacker multi-rifle is very hard to expect for your opponent. This is the least conventional of the three choices and can help you sneak through your enemy's lines to get a valuable model, like a tag, to hack with a surprise attack. At close range, the multi-rifle has hard-hitting AP rounds that can be surprisingly effective against really heavy targets like tags or some of the heavier infantry. This makes it as effective as an HMG in terms of damage against ARM-6 and greater targets, and is more effective when fighting against ARM-8 targets. Ultimately, this is a finesse choice that will take a lot of thought on using correctly. I typically don't like expensive WIP-13 hackers, but your opponent may get caught off guard by a hidden to player hacker, or that your mimetism minus 6 token moving up to hack something is not a hexa. This is an odd choice, but one that can be effective if used correctly. The last profile is the namesake of our YouTube channel, and basically our whole group, the dreaded Swiss Missile. This is a profile that can potentially win a game in a single shot. He waits in hidden deployment and hopes that your opponent uses a second action to move into line of sight of him. Fire teams need to be extremely careful of a Swiss miss, as if they're not careful, the single shot could force three armor saves at damage 14 on all members of a fire team. 
Another great target is if your opponent deploys two models too close to each other. On the active turn, only the model or fire team that activated that can dodge, which can result in a free hit on the helpless neighbor. On the active turn, the missile is a pretty risky weapon with its burst one, but with mimetism it can still be used against certain targets. It's just not the most efficient way due to the lack of dice. Don't forget about his light shotgun. Surprise attack light shotgun can be a powerful tool for picking on lighter targets at close range. All three profiles dislike targets with MSV2 and MSV3, and really hate the combination of MSV and mimetism of their own. Add six cents to that and you have a recipe for failure for the Swiss Guard. He relies on his own modifiers to tilt the odds in his favor, but when the enemy de denies him his and has some of their own, it can have a really bad result. Leaving your Swiss Guard out of camo state can let something like a Nomad Intruder take him out with relative safety. Further targets the Swiss Guard should avoid is close range template weapons. His armor is good, but he can't sustain many hits from boarding shotguns, heavy flamethrowers, or even chain rifles before dying. The last thing he should absolutely avoid at all costs is close combat. His sword is decorative only. Even a Fusilier can tie him up in close combat for a large number of orders. When you are the best fun gunfighter in the game, you should stick to gunfighting. In vanilla, he is great, as there could be many other hidden things, like cutters, hexes, crockmen, and even kunai ninjas, along with any parachutists and combat droppers you could potentially take. Basically, if 15 models aren't on the table, this could be lurking somewhere in your deployment zone, waiting for its turn to use its HMG or an enemy walking into a missile. He gives vanilla Panoceania a powerful ARO that can be hard to get in vanilla armies. In NCA, he is the best non-tag attacking piece available, as well as providing the threat of a BS-15 hidden missile to shut off part of the board, you can position a Fusilier fire team with a missile such that your enemy sends a model that they think is going to face a single Fusilier missile, only for the Swiss Guard to appear and make that fight even worse. NCA has enough low cost models that you can conceivably take two Swiss Guard as well. This is pretty risky, as now you have massive amount of points sunk into just two models, who start in your deployment zone and do not have any mobility assets outside of camouflage. The threat of these models' very existence can make your opponents dodge instead of moving with their second skill. They may avoid areas of the table out of fear. Using hexas and garudas to bluff the existence of a hidden Swiss missile can be as powerful as having the Swiss mints itself. That is how influential this model can be. The Swiss Guard leaves a huge impression on your opponent when they encounter one. And the words, actually, I do have a reaction, can make your opponent's heart sink as a wry smile crosses your face. If you play, play Vanilla Panoceania or Neo Terran Capitoline Army, you should definitely run this model from time to time. It is truly one of Panoceania's finest warriors, and one that lives up to the hype.